Welcome to my project azar.com Project title Algorithm for Enhanced Intercell Interference Coordination in LTE Headman. Let's see the abstract. The success of LTE heterogeneous network that is Headman with macrophages and the focuses critically depends on the efficient spectrum sharing with higher power macros and the lower power focus. Our algorithm has critical guarantee and furthermore it accounts for the network topology, traffic load and macro echo interference map. We also show extensive evaluations using our plan from a real network and discuss self-optimized networking that is SAM based Enhanced Intercell Interference Coordination Implementation. This will increase the performance of the network. Let's see the flow of our project. First, the network is formed with the number of PICO and the macrophages. Then, ICIC framework is implemented. That is, ENB and the ECO equipment formations are done in the network. The macro and PICO cells are created by this and provides communication using the radio theater services. If UE is in the communication range, then the data communication is performed in the network. Else, it again processes the macro and PICO processes to organize the network. Uh, with the, the uh, macro and pico character restriction. After the data communication, the performance analysis is processed. In this, the delay and the throughput are calculated and compared with the existing system. Let's see the running procedure of our process. First, go to the terminal window. Then type CD space. MS 3 all in one that is we have to go to the directory MS3 all in one and then MS3 2 then to run the code type dot slash WAF space hyphen run space scratch slash file name so now the coding is running now in ms3 the cc file is first compiled and then run so it takes some time to run the code after running successfully it came as the build function finished successfully so after that so after that we can see the output in animated window Now the running is finished. To see the output, type cd, go to the directory of metadata, and type dot slash. The metadata file is opened. Now we have to open the file. The output is. Uh, Write in the XML format, so this is the output of our project. So open that. Here, 
the network is formed that is ad network is formed to run the simulation click the play button here the according to the ad network the macros and the frequencies are created in the network the macros base station is this is represented here and the frequency base station is represented here both the cells have the user equipment that under its range these two nodes are only communicated with the macro cell and these three nodes are communicated with the frequency cells we can speed up the process using this button The communication is provided between the user equipment and the macro cells also between the user equipment and the frequency cell at this point. The nodes can move in the transmission range. So the user equipment is dynamically in the network and the communication is not overhead and the packet trust is not occurred how to see the uh, animation output we can see the graph in In the following parables, um, so here only the XML files are created, also the graph is created. So, this is the graph what we generated with this method. This is the delay graph, then, then, uh, for the throughput graph, it is represented here. 